What an interesting career Sashin has had because all I remember all the way back, you know, when he was first debuting in Contenders Korea, and he was, you know, even before then, like playing a lot of Farah. He was kind of like a Farah one trick. Then he comes out, and now he's playing another Bizarria, and now he's found himself found himself on the Brigida. He's probably wondering what the hell happened. <laughs> How did we get three rolls? Uh, <laughs> all three rolls. Good man, Sashin. Good man. Really proving how flexible he can be. But, uh, well, the gates on Oasis and Dia. Yeah, okay, up, pack it up, pack it up. Dia is the best jungle queen now. He's the best jungle queen care. I've ever seen. All right. Well, the, both of the Brigitte's will be traded out. The Axe is finding some good value. Gets the slash across. Becky there for the alley oop. Takes down Fixa. The knife is in. Yuri pulled to the side. Dive Dude, he's in. actually insane. He's gonna be there. He is he's nailing so good. every single jagged blade. Okay. My feet is frozen for just a moment. Frozen. Hopefully we'll okay, get back in here. Not just me, just some, not just uh, me. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to assume he's just about to cut up aim god as well. Uh, yep. Uh, and I will not waiting. elaborate. I will not elaborate. Yep, we're still we're still waiting. Hopefully things are good. We're getting pushed out to the audience and they can see what's happening. And we just so he's landed right like now. two jagged blades in, like okay, directs. Here we go. I'm not talking like I'm not talking like boomerang in the back. He's, he's just landed two directs and uh, an yeah. axe hit on aim god that got a kill as well. Valley hit by thirty. Zest is on one HP. I mean, oh, gotta respect, gotta respect them. Up over the top, Becky getting the kill, now has the dash reset. Takes it aggressively as well. The rest of the dive comes through, and they are just massacring the fusion right now. Dia gets another God, jagged, jagged Blade kill. Becky Death is just Fury. farming. And uh, yeah, I mean, we we had like the little tech issue. It paused. There's like 0% set up for the fusion, for the Valiant. We come back in, they're at 25%. Now they're at 50. Yep, and they, they didn't even need a blade. Didn't even pull Becky's blade for that. Just neutral damage on the Zest with the execution. Dia lands another Jagged Knife into Fury. And, uh, you know, Season 1 Champion Fury is getting dished by Dia somehow on this tank. Here we go, Blade. Blade does get pulled. Fury is going to be taken down. Carpe finally able to find some kills. Feels like that's maybe like the second or third. Maybe now the fourth. And Zest will also oh. get on top of Lang's side. Zest? He will get cut down. Zest starting to come alive. Looking for easy honey. Makes it up to the opposite side of the wall. Tries to grab the health pack. Will be able to do so. But Zest still has the damage output to clean him up. And man. Okay. Seems like maybe he just had to get the blood flowing because that was a great sequence of events for Zest. The point finally in their control, but 82% setup for the Valiant off the rip is a very yep. good start. This guy's the ace player. This is the, you know, the ace in the hole for Philadelphia Fusion in this meta and any meta that involves Genji. Similar comments you, we make about the Shanghai Dragons. Okay, well, Genji meta, who I use back in, he's going to carry you. Zest is that guy for this team. So Fusion, leaning on Zest, blade available. This could be a hot fight. Well, they need it to be. They need to make it, you know, economically advantageous for themselves, not have to commit too, too much. Way. Fury's still charging. I, I to, yep, he's got the Rampage ready to go. Blade pulled down. Big drop down coming through. So far, it's just the rally now. The beat is going to be committed to the fight as well. Zest getting tagged low. Has to pull away. The Blade is not going to be able to find too much value. Rally and beat in response from the side of the fusion. Trying to say in this. The dash through. He clenches on to four. D is absolutely insane. Zest goes down to the bleed. Can they win up the follow-up fight here? Fusion still getting beaten and battered. Fury sets up for one of his own. Cuts them through. Oh, he landed that. That will be the cleanup. They managed to persevere. Yeah, look, Fusion won the fight, but Dia won my heart because he actually landed the knife yep. into Fury again at the end, even though he dies. So, um, I, I, I mean, I think Dia won everybody's hearts when he was on a zero for yeah. the Shanghai Dragons. He still had I'm a, just a not hell of a lot give, of love. I'm just not going to give Fusion their flowers today, even if they win. That's the level I'm going to be at. Uh, no, they are they are 76. They're about to catch up. Easy hunt with the overclock available. That was a good fight from the Fusion, but both teams are fresh out of ultimates. So we'll see how this neutral plays on out. Make with that flank. Oh. The lead now set up. Overclock going to be popped. Commanding shout used. Low HP bars, and they capitalize immediately. Three quick kills. Zest and Fix are going to be heading for the hills, but actually Zest is bouncing around in the center piece here of the map. Rather, it was Fix-Up. He ends up getting taken down. Now the flip coming in. Last fight territory for both sides. No ults to speak of from Thank either you know. team, but Becky is not far off. Yeah, and that's also going to be a positional advantage for the Valiant, given that they can play a little bit further forward, force Fusion into the choke. And how Becky approaches this is going to be very interesting. In fact, you, if he was a little bit further ahead, he could just pull Blade now, because you want to pull as early as you can, while the point's about to Touch. go team. Okay. 
Quick little step in there. Just the toe over the line. Zest managing to force out the OT. They get right back into there. Now Dash is the back. The blade gets pulled. He's looking for a target. Wraps around the side. Finds Aim God. Carpe taking down moments before. Now it looks for a little bit more. Three down to half. Zest, a sliver of HP. Fix it just desperately trying Dang. to keep him alive. But Diaz says no. I, I mean, he's getting the most kills that I've seen from a yeah, yes, so far. Yes, As far as the kid is concerned. Has, like the axe, look, every, the jagged blade. His, I, I don't have the stats for his accuracy, but his accuracy on the blade is insane. Most JQ plays, you see him throw out the blade, and it's just like, ah, oh, whatever. They just kind of toss it out there, just expend the cooldown. D is nailing these shots. He is landing so many directs on that blade. Beyond that as well, I can tell you statistically right now, D is on... Here, here's how the final blows trickle down on the Valiant. It goes D okay. number one at nine, then Becky on six, Easy Hunt on four, Session on three. And Dia also has 600 more damage than the next guy, and the next guy is Becky. And uh, obviously, guy. they're both ahead of the, the fusion. So Dia is not only diffing the other team, his own team. He, he's just doing better than everyone on the server right now on this era. Well, TB forward here from the side of the Valiant. Not going to be utilized for the fusion. By the way, there's the Ash. Rushing out. And yep, but it's there not even the three. Ash from Easy Hunt. Nade's going to be lobbed in. Fury well out into the front lines. And getting beaten and battered. Becky bounces the rail back into Carpe's head. Finds the kill. Follows up for a second one as Fury does get taken down. So two quick pickups here from the side of the Valiant. They so once again are asserting control over this point right off the rip. Push up over the top, fix it, looking to zone them back as much as possible. Zest keeping it contested for now while they wait for this Jungle Queen to rejoin, but they're going to have to concede the initial cap. They're going to heal Deer as well. He spent most of that uh, end of the engagement on 50% HP or less, so they will cap, they will reset. Easy Hunt died early. I'm not too sure if I'm a huge fan of the Ash here. I think the Ash would have actually been better on the previous round. Easy Hunt doesn't have the same high ground to abuse as first oh. blood found. Sasha dead, Becky down into the pit, grabs the Mega Pack. Easy Han does manage to answer back. He heard you talking smack. Gets the kill there on to fix that. We'll see if he can find some other kills here in the follow-up. Zest and Fury both dangerously low. The Dynamite also clipping in onto the Genji, but Zest just gonna tuck away into the corner. The flip is there. 25% all they're able to get on the initial hold. Fusion now in control. Yeah, gotta get Fury back into the fight as well. A couple low members here for the Philadelphia Fusion. As we start getting into ultimate territory, so about three fights in, we're gonna get to see our first ultimate. Should be Zest. And then maybe the supports as well, including Aim God. This is the catch-up moment for the fusion. Zest should be pulling Blade almost instantly. He's holding it for now. Rally's there from Aim God, keeping everybody else alive. But this is buying time for the beat to be available from Langsa. He's gonna have to wait long enough. Set off now. We'll have it. Fury's gonna fall as well. And Becky just finds the kill. Now Valiant just charging forward. They rush. They get in on top of him. Fix the taken down. Oh, dude. Dia finding yet another kill. The axe. The knife connects. He pulls it out. Aim God is right back into his reach. He cleans oh, him up. Axe. He looks for Carpe. And okay, he gets enough healing to be able to survive. Commanding shot from Fury. Just enough to save Carpe from getting bled dry. But man, Dia. That's a... I, I mean... Stess holding Blade is... I, I think that's a mistake because you wasted Aim God's Rally as well. You get the Rally green HP to walk on in. He's literally inside the middle of Valiant. That's the perfect time to Blade and just get the job done. You have a Blade advantage. And now look at the ults. Valiant have more than caught up. They've overtaken. Yeah. The lead there's for now. For ults to work with. Sound barrier coming through. Fixa just now getting his available. Oh, but he can't long. use it. He's under too much pressure. And he knows that he's just going to end up Ajaxing if he tries to use it. So he just has to hold it. Carpe answers back. Two kills there with the overclock. But Langsa gets on top of him. Finds the elimination. And the Valiant are very firmly in control. As Dia is being just bullying is the word I'm trying to look for here. Zest in the corner. Oh! He hits him. He hits him. So good at that. Doesn't get a kill, but it's still no. so impressive. It's exciting. I like it. It's exciting to me. Okay? I will enjoy every moment that Dia hits a jagged yeah. blade. I treasure it's them. Okay, here we it go. It gets the people going. <laughs> it's the blood flowing. <laughs> Rampage is alive now. Both of them. Zest down to half. Does have the they're diving in. They're looking for him. Counter. Peel coming in. Okay, the slash not going to connect. Becky actually goes down. Now sound barrier out from Pixa. They know they have to take the aggressive fight. They get the anti out on the two. Dia gonna be felled for now. Nice little quick cleanup coming through from the side of the fusion. Yep. Playing off the back of that rampage with swiftness. They will get the flip, but can they hold it out for the win?
Yeah, they will burn the extra sound barrier there as well to secure it, but the Rampage, especially that hitting Dia, uh, you can't heal him up, he's already low HP. He knows he can't count a Rampage there because it will be wasted. They also know they're at 99, so this is reasonable macro from the Valiant to say that we don't need to force a fight win there, given how far we, how far ahead we are in the cap. We can play the longer game, rally Rampage up, you just have to get past Aim God's Rally, and this uh, Rampage will stick. Okay, we're looking to surround them here. Slash across, Carpe down low, trying to stay alive. He's gonna be okay for oh, now, but hit. not maybe for long. Yeah, a massive hit off the rampage, finding four. Ooh. That's the cleanup coming in as Dia Man. is just looking to shut them out of this. The flip is coming in. The knife not gonna connect, but <laughs> the headshot off the shotgun will. Is that the last man standing? Punish Lengs and narrowly survives in the Valiant. They take the first map. Oasis is theirs, 2 0. This is just such a performance from Dia on a roll on a hero that I did not expect that nobody in their right minds would ever expect that he would play. And he is phenomenal. He destroyed everybody.